All right, so have a look at this circuit. I just discovered it whilst I was learning about diodes. It came up in a book and I thought, you know what, let me give this a go and it, it works perfectly, obviously. So you've just got a circuit here which will check polarity. So I've got my power supply here, which is supplying 2.3 volts. And so as you can see here currently right now, the this LED, the green LED is lit and obviously the red one's off. The reason for that is because the green LED is forward biased and the red one is reverse biased. If I switch them around, then you get the red LED being forward biased and the green LED being reverse biased. So you can basically use these two LEDs as polarity checkers. I mean, it seems quite obvious, right? That obviously, you know, the LEDs are gonna be reverse biased or forward biased. And when it's reverse biased, then it's gonna block current and then hence, you know, but the fact that you could just use a green and a red one to do this is quite cool. Like I find that quite amazing. So I suppose you could easily make like, you know, some sort of switching uh, switch to do this as well. Yeah, I mean, that's all I wanted to show you guys. I thought the circuit was quite cool and hopefully you guys enjoy it too. So because I'm a bit of a weirdo, I, I figured, you know what, wouldn't it be a good idea to add a buzzer and then you could just make it so that when it's, you know, when you... Uh, connected it the wrong way around then you have a buzzer that goes off so i've just got one of these passive buzzers from which i got from my arduino kit so it's just a bug stand buzzer and then let's connect it so that if we do other way around so the negative end to the positive rail and the positive end to the negative so basically put it in in reverse right so now when it's connected then obviously it's not going to go when the green's on then the buzzer is reverse biased and then now here <laughs> that's cool right annoying but cool and then positive i like it all right so i've decided to be even more of a weirdo and basically replace the breadboard and stick it on a <laughs> on a perf board i've never actually used one of these I bought this perf board a year ago, maybe a year and a half ago. Never used it, you know, but I think now is the time. So let's give it a go. We'll stick the LEDs in. Yeah, I don't know. No idea. No clue what I'm doing here, people. So that only took me about 20 minutes of soldering. <laughs> She's crazy, right? Anyways, all right, uh, so let's go negative to negative and positive to positive. And look at that. We've got a green LED and then switch it around. Positive to negative, negative to positive. And we've got a loud buzzer. So obviously some of the ways that you can improve this in the future would be to add the resistor. You know, there's probably a, f <laughs> a few ways that you can improve this, mostly because of the fact that uh, these LEDs are going to blow out. And also it can't obviously detect a voltage really lower than two volts. And I'm pretty sure one of these LEDs will blow off to three volts. So you're a bit stuck there. Let's just cut this, see how it looks. Let me cut it. There you go. Let me know you what you think of my shoddy little um, polarity tester here, which is, um, I mean, just something for like the other electrical engineering students out there. When you're going through your textbooks and you find this kind of stuff, give it a go. You know, this I'd probably spend about 35 minutes doing this, but I'll probably never forget it as well. And it's nice, you know, look at that soldering. <laughs> that is terrible. And now I'm even concerned because... Like, obviously I'm gonna blow the LEDs at some point, right? And then how am I gonna replace those LEDs? That's just gonna be silly. Yeah, let me know what you think. I've got a really annoying little buzzer there. And a nice little red LED. It's going quiet now. All right guys, thanks for watching and I shall see you guys in the next one.